Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video today. We're going to take a look at this brand new set of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks for Case B 2019. Well, welcome back everyone. Today is yet another Hot Wheels Monster Trucks video. These have surprisingly been very highly requested lately because I have been doing a lot of Spin Master stuff. And of course, because I am partnered with Spin Master, I try to tend to do more of those videos. And also they're very new and very popular. But this set here has been only found in a few different places. Uh, I've only seen a few people with these. So, so far, they're not as commonly found as Case A was for 2019. So hopefully I'm one of the first ones to review these on the camera, uh, but we'll see. I don't know. This is probably likely the first time you've seen them on camera because I have not seen any review videos of them. Today I did pick up the full set of the Case B assortment. You can see it right here. This is the Case B assortment for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. This of course is their own new line. They are not contracted with Monster Jam anymore. This case actually I'm very happy with. I'm very satisfied with how they did this case. The last case was kind of okay, but this one's pretty good. But here they are. This is the assortment here. You can see I'm going to put with a pencil today. The Five Alarm, Hissy Fit, Loco Punk, Podium Crasher, Necessary Roughness, and the Bone Shaker which we saw in Case A of 2018. So here they are. This is the assortment here. Um, I will go in order. So I think it's five alarm that goes first. So five alarm is up first. And let's just go ahead and open it up. So this is the brand new five alarm. It is based on their Hot Wheels casting called five alarm. So they are basing their real castings off of their current uh, monster trucks as well. So the Hot Wheels castings will carry over into Hot Wheels monster trucks. So here it is, the five alarm. Very cool truck. There's a little nameplate right there. And here is the back of the card you can see the card render of course for 2019 they all have their own render so you can see it right there fire alarm city super drenched fire nozzles fire stomp and to soak the other trucks uh I, I always think they're the cringiest stats in the world and i continue to say that so that's kind of um i don't know it's questionable i guess it's aimed towards more the kids so uh here it is the five alarm pretty solid casting i have to say fire trucks are very popular with the younger crowd and this definitely oh wow moving parts okay that's pretty cool so here's the moving parts for the ladder it does not stay up though i wish it had a little pin to hold it up but you can see the ladder does move and here's the side panel so Pretty good graphics, I have to say. It's got a nice fire engine red truck body. You can see the flames here, the Monster Trucks logo, and the Hot Wheels fire in gold, and it is engine 19. Uh, I'm assuming that's for 2019. I'm not sure what it says right here on the side. There's something there. Let me zoom in. There's a little decal, but I cannot read what it says because it's super blurry. And here's the front. Nothing on the front. And here's the other side. Nice chrome details. You got the chrome all along here, this side. The rims are, of course, our chrome. Here's the other side with the flames. Um, and there's the back. It says engine 19 with the, of course, the classic stripes uh, to warn cars from behind. Um, when you're approaching fire engine, you usually see these things so that they're noticeable, they're reflective in real life. And the Hot Wheels logo in gold, more chrome detailing along the side. Very solid truck. This one's really good. Although it's a pretty standard design, uh, I like to see this fire truck. It's pretty, uh, it's a really nice fit to this chassis too. So there's the five alarm from Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. And the next one up is a pretty cool one. I have to say so myself as well. This is the Hissy Fit. So this is a new SUV casting uh, truck, or not a new SUV casting, but a new style for this SUV truck. Uh, you can see it is number two of five of the Animal Attack series. And here's the back. Uh, let me open it up actually real quick so we can see the card. It is already shattered. This entire bubble shattered on the pegs. So it's pretty much just done. Might as well release it. And so let's see, here's the render of Hissy Fit. And here's the actual stats. Its name is Hissy Fit. The truck type is SUV. The strength is Cobra Hood. The crash attack is Venom Strike and the motivation is to inject him with poison. Uh, pretty good illustration here. I like when they do the nice illustrations. And by the way, I forgot to mention, the uh, fire alarm came with this blue connecting crash car and it, this one came with the green kind of uh, SUV tooling. I don't care for those. Those are the least favorite accessory of all time from Hot Wheels. Um, and here's the little Hissy Fit uh, card name. And here it is, the Hissy Fit. So let's take a look at this detail. Pretty cool stuff here. Uh, you got the Cobra along the side here. You got the Hissy Fit logo, the Hot Wheels monster trucks, and then of course the Hot Wheels logo in black and yellow. And on the side, you can barely see it, but there's the actual detailing of scales. So if you reflect it right in the light, just like real scales on snakes, you can see them just perfectly. So you can see there's detailing all on the chrome with scales like up here. You can kind of see it. And the snake does wrap around the entire top. 
with the flames. There's a Hissy Fit logo with the Hot Wheels logo in black and yellow. A yellow window. There's the uh, hood. And I'm actually, I'm just noticing this right now. It's a split paint job. You got half of a normal Cobra and half of a skeleton of a Cobra. So you got the skeleton here. And then along this side, there's a, that's actually pretty cool. You got the split paint job skeleton side. So that's very cool. I never noticed that until you actually unbox the truck. So that explains why this is kind of weird up here. So it does split off into a skeleton version of the snake right there. That's actually pretty awesome. And here's the back of the tailgate. You can see there's hissy fit in black. It's kind of hard to read on my lighting, but there it is. And it does have a nice teal blue roll cage and yellow rims. And of course those giant Hot Wheels tires, which I do not like, but there it is, hissy fit. And this one is my favorite. This one is so awesome. My favorite of this entire case, the Loco Punk. The kind of um, looks like a gas mask that they used in World War One, right there on the side. So we're gonna open this thing up. It's number two of five of six stuff. And we have seen six stuff before. This was the first six stuff truck, the Zombie Rex, another one of my top favorites of Hot Wheels monster trucks. And also we've seen a few variations of Loco Punk this year. Uh, I do not have the third one from the Case B 2018 Assorbing yet. I'm still looking for that entire case. But this one's definitely my favorite. This this is beyond um, comparison to the other ones. So here we go. We're going to open up the Loco Punk from Six Stuff. And let me get the card off. All right. So let me scoot that out of the way. Here's the Loco Punk. That's an awesome back of the card as well. Uh, you can see the name is Local Punk. The truck type is City. The strength is Front Cow Catcher. The crash attack is Railroad Rundown. The motivation is to choo choo up the opposition. Same stats, I believe, as we've seen on all Local Punks. So that's pretty cool. Actually, not really cool. I wish they would change them up once in a while, but they don't. Uh, here it is, the Local Punk. What an amazing looking truck. This one's very nice. Um, it looks like a highlighter, pretty much. The tires are highlighter green. They're not yellow. They're not green. They're just that perfect bit in the middle where if you guys took a real highlighter and wrote on paper, this is exactly the color that they do have enough transparency to them to see through to the rim. And I'm actually noticing right now, these are not black rims. These are like a charcoal gray. Let me turn on my flash so you guys can see. This should kind of help here. You can kind of see the charcoal gray color. It's not black in real life, I promise. It's like a dark uh, charcoal gray. So that's pretty cool. And also it has that really cool edge glow roll cage, which matches this entire color spectrum really well. And I love the black plastic just to detail out the black and the green. So there it is. There's the side of the panel as well. You can see it's got a skull with a gas mask on uh, and it's got um, electrical shock symbols coming out of it. So these little uh, lightning bolts kind of thing. You got the Monster Trucks logo tucked in there. Got the Hot Wheels logo, number 28. I don't know what that means. It might be someone's birthday. It could be anything. Designers always put that stuff on the Hot Wheels stuff. And here's the front. You got the biohazard symbol with some, you can't really see it, but there's green detailing across here. Um, and on the other side as well, you can see the same stuff. And on the hood, this is the stuff that's on the front. You can barely see, but you can see it's got this green kind of uh, cloudy substance here, poison gas, I guess. And on the front, or the back here too. And you got this really nice transparent green uh, smokestack and whistle and they are loose this is a thing I don't like about the quality control with Mattel they don't check this stuff so this is loose I'll have to screw this body down farther so it's not loose anymore but that's loose that's a little mark on that part but this truck overall 10 out of 10 definitely the green highlighter green stuff amazing truck I really like this kind of stuff I love this color I think it's just what it is and the, the black how it contrasts well really good solid truck by Mattel for this one I don't say that a lot anymore because I'm not very impressed with anything they do nowadays because Spin Master does impress me more but that one definitely gets my vote and number 10 of 50, Podium Crasher with a nice pink paint job. So I'm very happy with how they did this one. This is the brand new pink Podium Crasher for Demo Derby. So here it is, the Podium Crasher's back. So you got the Podium Crasher, truck type is pickup, the strength is unbeatable engine, the crash tech is trophy dash clash, and the motivation is to stay undefeated forever. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why those stats are that way, but anyway, that's the Podium Crasher. And here it is with the nice pink paint job. And here's the little card, by the way, for Podium Crasher. And I forgot Local Punk, I think. Um, here's the Local Punk. Pretty cool. And it comes with this little green, or this, sorry, orange uh, connecting crash car. So here's the Podium Crasher. Uh, you got the nice painted tires, of course. That's always a piece of the demo derbies, as we've seen with Torque Terror earlier this year. We got the uh, 
yellow tire paint and then of course the back has the red and also these are the first trucks to ever have split rim colors so you can see here yellow and black that's the first time hot wheels has ever done that for monster trucks and we did see demo derby in real life have the painted trucks which i'm assuming is going to be called town hauler in the future for the die cast so i hope we get that town hauler because it had pretty cool hot wheels logos and smiley faces this one's got a pretty interesting design as well you got the red spots and of course the blue lines you got the very beautiful teal blue and also on the roll cage and it does have an orange chassis and you can see here you got the white tire with the uh, kind of weird triangle design and then of course the blue stripes coming out of that as well and here's the side panel of the podium crasher it is the same pink they used for the medusa truck so it's the light pink but you can see here you got the checker design with the kind of triangles here and you got the hot wheels monster trucks logo the 75 the Hot Wheels logo here, of course. And of course, this truck is not supposed to have a, uh, a uniform design. They're supposed to be random painted de demolition derby trucks. So they have no real continuity to the design. But you can see there it's got the Hot Wheels logo with a black hood, an X on it, a blue window. And here's the roof. You got the 75 with the checker design again in orange this time for the 75 in white. And here's the other side, pretty awesome other side as well, uh, left side panel. You got the spray paint style paint here. Let me move that. There we go. Got the spray paint style. You got the Hot Wheels logo kind of outlined here. The 75 in black and orange this time. And a little X right here in teal blue. Got the Monster Trucks logo there instead of inside the window. And of course on the tailgate, you got the 75 in pink and white kind of transparent pretty much, so white and transparency. Then you got the same, that's interesting actually. Let me take a look at Five Alarm. Got the same style as Five Alarm actually on the tailgate. Got this uh, triangular um, reflective symbol, which would be on the real trucks, on the real fire engines, but that's again on this tailgate. So that's pretty weird. And you got a outlined pink Hot Wheels logo with blue and black inside of it. So uh, another solid truck. I gotta say that this one catches my eye for sure. The pink, the orange, the blue, the way the tires are painted. These ones have done pretty well with me, the Demo Derby series, and I think they will continue to do really well. And the last one is another one of my favorites of this case. Got the Necessary Roughness. This is based off the Loch Ness Monster. We usually call it Nessie. And um, let's open it up. So here we go. So that's the Necessary Roughness. And here's the render of the Necessary Roughness. And here it is the back of the box. Got the Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster up there. Pretty cool illustration. Necessary reference is the name. Truck type is pickup. The strength is extra long neck. The crash attack is sink or swim. And the motivation is to scare every truck around. So I guess it's supposed to be a scary truck, not a um, fun character truck, but here it is, the necessary roughness. First thing I wanna note is it has a nice, a nice paint color, uh, the sea green metallic metal flake paint color. And there's the side panel. You got the Loch Ness Monster, of course, Nessie. You got this long body. The face is on the front of the truck, the, the hood. You got these gold details on the fenders. The Necessary Roughness logo there. Hot Wheels logo in black and yellow. And also you got this nice sea kind of underwater look decal print here. And the Monster Trucks logo, of course, there. Got a nice dark blue roll cage, yellow beadlocks, and blue interior rims. They actually match this paint color really well. They're almost a blue-green. And there's the front grille, of course. You can see the nice pink color there and here's the other side same stuff no split paint job same exact design just repeated and there's the tailgate you got the necessary roughness right there the logo with the gold detailing of course the uh the wave kind of whitewash detail there on the bottom and then here's the roof and the hood so you can see it says Loch Ness Scotland so as I, I guess that's where it was discovered or seen on camera once before I'm not sure maybe I could be wrong that's Scotland there and then you got the detailing around the entire roof here with the gold and then of course the hood also has the detailing around the entire area. You got the Loch Ness Monster, of course there's Nessie right there with the big face and the, the sharp teeth and the tongue. And of course the whitewash detail and the blue window. So that is a pretty cool truck right there in itself. So that was the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Case V 2019 review. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, you guys requested Hot Wheels content, or some of you did, not, not all of you, but some of you requested Hot Wheels content. So I figured since I found these tonight and not many people have gotten them yet, I'd review them for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will make more Hot Wheels Monster Trucks videos in the future when I find new stuff. I only make them when I find new stuff though. I don't make them just because um, I am trying to do a lot of Spin Master stuff as well because there's a lot of stuff for that company as well. So we gotta share the airtime. But today was Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and I'm sure you'll see a lot of Spin Master stuff as well. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you guys think about these new trucks in the comments below. My favorite of definitely is the Local Punk in this case but I will see what you guys say. I'll see you guys next time.
This is Ryan and Monster Jam OCD, signing out.